I linked up Vincent and Robin of Easy Send Logistics to Evan Swapula, the CEO of Deliveryman App, an on demand logistics company specializing in small parts and transit cargo across East Africa for the last five years. Hi, Evans. Hi, how are you? I'm good. My name is Vincent and I am in charge of operations at Easy Send Logistics. Pleasure meeting you. My name is Robin. I'm the CEO of Easy Send Logistics and we're happy to meet you here today. Pleasure. Uh, awesome. Pleasure. Because of Corona. <laughs> so, um, since you've been in the market for, for so long, uh, us, uh, we're trying to, we, we, it's not like we don't know much, but we would like to know more from you. Like, um, in terms of uh, your daily operations, how, how do you go about it? Uh, okay, in, in Deliverman, we have uh, like uh, three departments. Okay. We have one department that deals with the, the on-demand, the bike, bike deliveries within Nairobi. Uh, currently, we have another dispatch in Nakuru. Those are the orders that clients uh, they want it to be delivered within 30 minutes. Then we have another department where we deal with the house moving and relocation. That's for trucks. We have another person leading that side. So we realize we have different like uh, operations. We come to the bikes, the clients, who order delivery for bikes, they have different needs than the other one for, for trucks. But uh, in terms of our, of our operation as you ask, uh, we have an app where clients can log in, then they, they order delivery. If the rider is not within the vicinity, they can call. The app, the app notifies them that, oh, currently we don't have a rider in your location, but you can call this number, we send one from the office. It will take about maybe 30 minutes. Then the client calls, we have a, 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 a customer service, a lady who they, she receives the call, then looks for a rider who is around. Say, oh, go pick this order, deliver to this place. If, uh, the, if it's a cash, cash delivery, the lady will tell, hey, collect this amount of cash. Or if it's not for cash, she tell, oh, that's for invoice. Just deliver, make sure it's stamped, then return the, the stamped copy. Yeah. Uh, in this business, it's really challenging. Like uh, uh, in the courier business, yes. uh, what are some of your challenges that you face that you think that you can you can you can handle them in a in a right way? Uh, okay, what what people call the challenges? I call it a, it's a, like a learning situation because all of them arise from the customer side. If the customers are unhappy, they have a reason. <laughs> they don't just be unhappy because of nothing. Yeah. So uh, if if you are into Really customer service, you listen to the client. What happened? Say, oh, the, the, the rider maybe is lying. Tell, tell me 10 minutes, now 15, now 30. Then you tell them, oh, sorry, sorry for that. Let me follow up, then I'll give you a detailed report. Don't worry, but you are, you are, your delivery will come. So by saying that, the client will feel, ah, oh, you, it's like you have listened to them, you have solved to them. So even if the delivery, maybe the rider got an accident or because of road, he, uh, the police maybe uh, stopped him to ask him some question, then the delay comes. Yeah. And then we have uh, another challenge as well, whereby you encounter the attitude from, from uh, the rider. Can you reach there? <laughs> maybe they have, they have ex they, 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 all of us usually wake up, you wake so, up, you are not feeling well. Okay. Then when you reach a client, a client who has uh, some demands, you feel like, ah, you are, I don't have to do your job for me to survive. So that kind of challenge. Now you have to, as a founder or the, the operation, you have to create peace. You have to make sure the rider is, uh, is uh, well taken. You advise him and you ask him what happened. In case of any challenge, you, you be calling me back. Don't call the, the client to give them your frustration. You call the office you say, ah, me, I'm feeling. You talk to this client because uh, well, we, have, we are not agreeing. Speaking of uh, creating job opportunities and, uh, you know, having uh, such an experience, what criteria do you use in hiring your your delivery experts or your 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 courier guys? Although me myself, I'm a graduate, okay. but I don't go for for graduates mostly because most of them have attitude. Ah, oh, graduate cannot ride a bike. Okay. Uh, so I go for people who are the attitude first. Okay. Someone who is who is ready to work, okay. who is ready to follow instruction because that is the most important. Not not your CV. Your CV doesn't work well in this uh, this sector. You go. When, I, when I'm hiring, I usually ask them a question, like uh, ask them if, uh, if you encounter a client who, who, who 
abuses you. Yeah. Uh, you don't have a mistake, but they climb, just pick some mistake. You are dirty, you are what, you have no child, you are hair, your shoes are dirty. What will you do? They say, okay, according to the, to the way they have answered, I realize uh, this one you can work with. When the, the others will say, ah, me, uh, is it the customer who is buying for me cloth? If, uh, if they, me, me, I don't tolerate that man. So you, do, you don't check on the experience of the, of the rider? Like, uh, uh, okay. I don't check for okay. experience. Okay. Experience doesn't count much. Okay. Because I train them. But okay. if they are experienced somewhere, okay. because most of them are borders, okay. they just, you know, borders have that unofficial language. Okay. So I have to tell them, mm -hmm. this is a client mm -hmm. who is here. And the more, if, if, if this client, because there is a competition, we are not the only ones in the game. Yeah. So if the client is not happy with us, we will move. And if we go, we don't have work. We will also have to release you. Uh, you talked about having uh, expanded your, your company or your business in, in Nakuru. Uh, how, how, how did you go about it? How did you, did you recognize that there's a gap in Nakuru? Or did you get it through word of mouth? Or you just decided to do your own research? As in, how did you just decide, you know, it's Nakuru, why not Kericho? Why not Kisumu or, or Mombasa. even Mombasa? Yes. They say we live in a, in a world where data, data is the new, the new oil. Yes. So if you, you, I receive, of course clients will call. Hey, I'm calling from Nakuru. Uh, I purchased this thing from Nairobi. I wanted to come to Nakuru. Then you tell them, oh, Nakuru don't have an office. Maybe we'll pick. Then we go uh, give to one of the matatus that we go to Nakuru. Then you realize in a day you are receiving like seven calls for demanding for the Nakuru. Uh, Nakuru. Then when you go to you are the marketing, you, you, you see the most engagements are coming from Nakuru. So what we do, we go, we, it's like a kind of partnership, because if you go to set up a new office, it's expensive. So you go there, look for people who are also, who are also, they have a store or an office in town, but it's not occupied. We tell them, our person will be coming here, then there is a rider. I go there, I train a few, like three or four riders, and I tell them, if a, if a client calls you or I call you, you go pick a parcel from here. You are, according to the client's instruction, you deliver to where they are. Since, since your, 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 your phone calls are picked here, how, how do you coordinate with the people in Nakuru? The lady whom, whom we partner with that office, they usually, when the rider comes, we say, hey, this rider, mm. maybe is drunk or is not, uh, the, the image is not good. Okay. So uh, you look for another one. You know, I source, I call for, I have, Within the four, at least I will get one who is, uh, who is available. They go pick yeah, and deliver. Uh, how is your marketing strategy and which is your main marketing tool yeah. uh, for you to reach out to those kind those of clients? Client service is the first, the number one marketing strategy. Then to add after after that, after that you add uh, you call social media. You can't leave it behind because yeah. uh, and now there's people are online. We do some promotion, we do some sharing. We create some good flyers, we share, people will just keep sharing. Then on important days, you also create like a Mother's Day or World Cancer Day. Uh -huh. yeah, you say, delivery man, you're happy to join the World Federated to celebrate this. So at, at uh, like, delivery man, Mr. Evans, mm -hmm. uh, where, where do you see yourself in the next maybe 10 to 15 years? What do you want to achieve? Because um, usually our slogan is uh, move anything. So we wanted, uh, we, are, we want to expand to the whole of Africa. We want yeah. to concentrate on, the, on this. We are, we, they say Africa is about 1.3 trillion dollar business. So we want to do like end to end. A, a vehicle, we, we pick something from Cape Town, we deliver to Cairo. Pick from Cairo, we deliver to Lagos. We go around Africa. You know, with technology, it's easy because it's just connection, the system. You just go to, to the country, you open up a, an office, you sign up, and. Uh, with this uh, Africa, they have opened up now, it's like Africa is borderless. So with the logistics, we don't have borders. We have, we have to open whatever we think, yeah, we go across. Yeah, that's, uh, our strategy is to go across Africa and be the, like, the destination. If someone is in Europe, they want something distributed across Africa from the port of Mombasa to Congo, where the people to, to do that. And then, as you, so yeah, because we have also received some calls from people in, in Europe, those in pharmaceuticals. They don't want to set up an office in Nairobi, but they send their shipment from there. We, sell, we have sent, these are, so these are the documentation, pick from the port, 
then deliver to this warehouse in Nairobi or in Kampala. Is uh, distribution channel, and without them coming to open up a physical location, so we are strategizing ourselves to be serving those kind of clients too. Thank you so much, Evans. Thank you. It was a pleasure uh, meeting you, and we hope to learn more from you. And our seats will keep in touch and, and, and the likes. Thank in you. case we have more queries, uh, my partner and I, I think we are welcome at your premises <laughs> thank and you ask more much. questions. Yeah, yeah, we shall. Thank you so much, we really appreciate it. Thank you, too. Uh, thank you so much. I also appreciate it. Uh, I also appreciate you very much for coming. Now, you know, by, by working together, we can grow the African economy. Well. And also, thank you for. ATN Business Coach uh, uh, for bringing uh, this kind of program <laughs> together. It's, uh, it's really nice. So thank you so much for having watched the show. Hope you've learned a thing or two on how exactly this business goes about. If an entrepreneur out there and you'd like to be a part of the show, remember you can always reach us on our social media handles running below the screen. And if you, for any particular feedback, always reach us on our social media handles. My name is Ian Dennis and this has been The Business Coach where we help entrepreneurs better their businesses.